Okay, here are some virtual storytelling tips and tricks. First thing you want to be aware of is how you hold the book. Here's a title page, but you see how it catches the glare of the light? You want to make sure you're holding it so that your audience can see. When you're storytelling, you also want to be aware of where you hold the book. See, if I hold it too far, it's off camera. If I hold it too high, then you don't see me. Just really have to be aware, and then if I hold it too far, then you can't see the pictures of the book. And you really want the whole storytelling experience if you're not going to actually be at the library to hear the story. So one thing I do want to mention is that you do not, not always have to hold the book while you're storytelling. If you have something that's in the public domain that you want to tell, you can always do it without the book, or you can do what I like to call a fractured fairy tale. For example, if you're telling the story of Cinderella, you can change it up a little bit without worrying about copyright or stealing somebody else's books or stories or anything like that. So keep in mind when you're doing a virtual story time, you want to be creative, you want to be open, you want to be friendly, and you want to captivate your audience. Okay.